Okay, welcome back to MGAM TV. This week we are joined by Rich and he's going to help us out review Hello. Tomb Raider. Are you alright, Rich? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you. Tomb Raider, and it was, uh, it, it was out a while back, but we decided we'd uh, give it a play. I haven't played it before, so mm. I thought well, I'd, review, I'd review it for you guys. Uh, it was on Xbox, PS3, and PC. Yeah. So, what did you think? I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. From uh, start to finish. Yeah, from start to finish. It was um, it was not, like you say, and I know you're going to say, it wasn't a Tomb Raider game. No. But I wasn't a massive fan of the Tomb Raider series anyway, I'll be honest with you. After The first one was a brilliant game, but then it was all just about tits and ass from then on. Um, and and the game just lost out completely, especially when you were running around cities and things. That ain't Tomb Raider. No. Um, and uh, this one, I felt, um, it was a breath of fresh air, really, in the, uh, the Tomb Raider series. It, um, it really piqued my fancy. It's definitely honest. different, wasn't it? It was yeah. definitely in, yeah. in a league of its own. It's a different, it's a different, definitely a different game. Yeah. You know, it, it, it doesn't bear a massive resemblance to the old I think if you're, if you're a massive Tomb Raider fan, don't expect to be... I just expect to yeah, look exactly. at it as a different game. Joe, exactly. did you think? Yeah, exactly the same as what Rich is saying. Loved it in terms of playing it, really enjoyed it. Um, in terms of like graphics and stuff, you talking like top end really good graphics really stories in the year not as great because it wasn't really a Tomb Raider game yeah. um, and as you said if if you are a massive Tomb Raider fan then I think you might be somewhat disappointed um, but apart from that if you take it as a standalone adventure game go and kill some baddies and also do a couple of like a lot of baddies things, yes then um, <laughs> then yeah then you will enjoy it and I did enjoy it yeah, I think, again, I'm just going to repeat what everybody else has said. Um, the uh, The graphics were amazing. Uh, the game is amazing, but it because it's called Tomb Raider, I kind of went, hang on, I'm not, I haven't really gone any t decent tombs. I got in a couple mm. of caves, climbed up a wall, opened a chest, she put something... She's got a massive chest full of stuff. <laughs> puts one little piece in a pocket and just goes, you know what? I'll have that for later. And you're like, mm, yeah. Especially with how amazing she makes it up when she opens it and she's like... <gasps> yeah, and then takes I'll one piece. You don't know what it is. Uh, and I just felt they took that element away. It was more, let's introduce Lara as a character. Let's sort of throw her in the deep end, become this survival girl. I, it, it, they kind of failed on it in terms of, like, the first mission is to kill a deer for food. And then the second mission is to kill 40 blokes on a tower. Yeah, exactly. And she's gone from, you know, from there to there without real any Exactly. This, this is a ma major issue I have with it. They rely very heavily on your previous knowledge of Tomb Raider and Lara Croft and the Croft family. And yeah, knowing a little how, bit, yeah. Well, they do because she, could, she wouldn't... If it was any other game and you did take it as a standalone game, you would not have the main character going from completely nothing, no abilities at all... To being like a badass fighter, killing loads of men, like literally ten times the amount of people that she she's one person and she's killing like ten people at a time, and she, a normal character would not have that sort of progression. But because we know about Lara Croft's backstory, you can understand where it comes from, and it does still make sense. But yeah, as a prequel, and a prequel should be there to give background knowledge. I feel, and I don't think it did. In that respect, no. The where, only thing is that, the butler? well, yeah. The only, <laughs> the only things that they said was just like, Lara, you you are a croft. Yeah. And it's like, well, no, then. You are a croft. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's the thing. If you know what the croft family are all about, and you've seen or played Tomb Raider before, then that but makes sense. But if if you took it as a son loan, you'd be like, well, yeah, of course she's a croft. But, she's not yeah. a croft. Yeah. But I did enjoy it. I'm not. I'm not saying that I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. I just that I think annoyed they, me slightly. I think they made a mistake calling it Tomb Raider. I reckon if they called it, would have called it Lara Croft, then I probably would have scored it higher personally because mm. I wouldn't have gone, oh, where's you know, oh, they don't need the, the raiding of the tombs. I don't need to try because it. When I remember playing the first couple, you'd go into a tomb and it was you have to get from there to there. 
and you, you've got to go your own way. Mm. Whereas now you can press the old LB button, see exactly where you need to go, mm. and you can get up there. She, I've never seen anybody climb the wall <laughs> so fast in my life. I know it's all about. Girl's got skills. I know you're trying to get the game to to flow, but she climbs that wall so yeah. fast and goes up rope so fast. But you know, it the, was it was part of the energy, I suppose. The, the one game. thing it missed. Um, one of the, the the things about Tomb Raider that made it Tomb Raider was when she would fight random animals. Yeah. yeah. You'd have tigers and panthers and, and bears T-Rex. and dinosaurs, exactly, um, all and over the place. And wolves. And there was, and yeah, there was a couple of wolves. <laughs> you get a couple of wolves and uh, rabbits and chickens that you just hack up with this axe. Um, but the rest was all just... Blokes. To be fair, I did have a wildebeest run into me and injure me slightly. That, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it does, it does happen, but... Um, it no, was it was time, hardly right? yeah it was hardly yeah. back to the, the old days where yeah. you know you, you'd so. be more worried about running face to face with a cheetah yeah. than you would be yeah I think in, ter- in terms of always. playing the game and it's so easy to play mm. it pretty much won't take you long from get to start to finish no. which it can be a shame uh, it's it's not that it's too long or not long enough it's just the fact that it's easy. You know, you know where you're yeah. going. There's no real oh, where have I got to go? Mm-hmm. There's only I think I had that twice, and then it wasn't until I press LB. Oh, there we go. I've got to go up that wall. Mm-hmm. She's got this this magical sense to see exactly where she's got to go. That seems like Which, such a is that such an overused thing nowadays. It's what games seem to yeah. hand walk yeah. you through them. They don't want senses. They've you got have to find out where to go. Game. I think I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I have played some games where I just stop playing. Because I was like, I'm lost. I don't know where to go. There's no, yeah. there's, there's walk no indication. Sort of I haven't yeah. played this game in like a week, Look it and up I've forgotten online. where I was and what but I was doing. Walk, there is walkthroughs, and there's there's, there are, there's yeah. always a guide, and there's always a guy on Google. Yeah. Who's done it and got <laughs> anything you've wrong with, whatever somebody's done it before. But no matter how poor the game, yeah. there's some guy who's completely geeked it. Who yeah. obviously it's, loves this game to bits. Yeah. Yeah. It so, seems it seems especially in adventure what? games as well because they had something similar in Last of Us didn't they it reminded me of Last of Us mm. a lot it was all about picking up salvage getting it together and then running Using and making it that was, and, and that was something I, mm. I really liked as well the fact that you got this this um, crafting system mm. uh, which was basically just like upgrading your character yeah. you had your little skill points that you put into things but being able to, to you know adjust and modify your weapons as well that was really cool yeah. I really enjoyed that. Did you, a bit did you of play character it, um, progression is always it's, it's needed these days, yeah. I think, in games. Did you play it on PC? It. Yes. I played yeah. it on PC. And did you think that it's almost touching next gen? Oh yeah. What I've yeah. Used? Mm-hmm. I the, mean the graphics were it's the spectacular. draw distance the draw distance and stuff like that. When you're climbing up the the beacon, the radio beacon and you can just see near enough the whole yeah. island. Oh it was amazing. Just like, it was amazing. And you know, I used to, I did get some frame rate issues. Um, and I worked out that was because it was trying to render a hair. Okay. <laughs> I it turned was, the hair it was down. When you had, yeah, you can actually turn the graphics down on a hair. It's yeah. that in depth. It's, it's brilliant. Yeah, and I had a few frame rate issues to be fair when yeah. it was when it was really zoomed in. I think it was due to my graphics card. But yeah. Um, oh, it was. Uh, I was just. Yeah. So friend of mine, my friend of mine played it on Xbox. I know someone who's played it on PS3, and they have both absolutely loved it. Yeah. So you're not going to have an issue with what you do play it, it on. Um, but obviously, it ain't. For me, Tomb Raider, it is no. a wicked game. It's a brilliant game, but it's yeah. not Tomb Raider. Like I said, that didn't affect me. That's why I, I, I've really gone to town with the score. Go on then, go on then. What, what? Um, I, got, I gave it 88. Wow. I'm mine. I really, yeah. I, I really, really enjoyed it. I'll be honest. Settled in. I was trying to look at ways I could uh, I could make it into the 90s, but the replayability lost it for me. I know once I've really completed this, back, I'm never going to touch it again. The, the artifacts and, that's one of the reasons and things why I didn't you found like weren't all that, were they? There wasn't yeah, really... Yeah, well, I was, I was like that. I found that when I was finding stuff, I was just like, oh, I can't be bothered reading about this. Exactly. I was just like, yeah. I just want to play the game. They meant nothing really. You can go back and collect all the things, yeah. but I don't know why you would really bother. It doesn't because really help you, Because you've it? maimed all the enemies in an area. Yeah. Uh, that's it, they're done. It's literally just a case yeah. of jumping around, trying to find it. You'd, and you'd use a guide to do it anyway. Yeah. Or in, I, I, why don't no they, reason why I would go back in. What they, what they don't Apart do, from your game of points. I know, of course. Xbox. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Game of score. What I don't get now, she's a, and they've done this with quite a few, it's a venture game about exploring. There's also these little artifacts and things you've got, but it just ruins the storyline for me. Because mm. you're like, 
you, you, you yeah. feel like you don't want to move on to the area until you find them all, do you? Yeah, yeah. You feel like, like oh. your friend's dying, or she's been kidnapped. In this one, she got kidnapped. You've got to say that, and it's, it's pretty much rush on, but you'd rather spend your yeah. time looking around, looking yeah. for a coin. Oh, yeah. exactly the same. I'm like, and I'm like wait well, a minute, let me go like, see what's going Nah, about. for me, I hate it. I hate looking for coins, because it, it pulls me out of the immersion of the danger that that yeah. person's in I've got to save True. them it's but oh there's a coin over there just hang on a minute I'll go and dig for it yeah. back to get to bad games it's, a diff- yeah. it's difficult it's to have game, that so. amount of collectibles and side missions when it is such an action packed I would have just added them in I would have gone here's another five tombs you can explore yourself and look mm. for some coins yeah, and then, <laughs> and then the game just leave it on danger because it is danger from start to finish mm. Tomb Raider it's not, it doesn't let up it's all about she's been kidnapped, he's been kidnapped, you've been kidnapped. I don't know how many times you're upside down, <laughs> but like in a trap or, right, or been kidnapped. Anyway, right, I'm digressing, let's go. Yeah, um, I gave it 71. 71, what was yours again? Mine was 88. 88, 71. I gave it 77. So that the only reason was the story was a bit, and Tomb Raider it wasn't, but still mint. Uh, so that gives us a total MGAM score of... 79 and that's a big silver coin that is found in a bush <laughs> uh, which belongs to some Chinese ancestor yeah awesome I, I, I think it's well deserved totally deserved it's worth playing definitely <laughs>